yes, it's a good idea to hide. Hopefully the tank... The oh, the tank spotted him. Get out of there. He's trying to get out of there. In this situation, you just gotta haul it, man. Get out of there as fast as you possibly can. Yo, he almost got away. Props to him for that. Man, this guy is actually not bad for having one week of experience. All right, and welcome back to Mistakes That You Are Probably Making. This is episode number two. And if you guys are enjoying this series so far, make sure to drop a like on this video so that I know that this is the content that you do want to continue to see. And if you're new around here, make sure you check out episode number one because there are different variables, different player that I'm reviewing, and maybe you can actually learn something different in that video as well from this one. If you're interested in having me review your gameplay, make sure to check out the link into the description. It's very simple and easy to get your gameplay submitted. Before we get into this gameplay, make sure you also leave comments on additional tips that I did not touch on during this video and make sure it's constructive criticism. We're not here to bash this guy. We're here to help each other get better. So yeah, guys, as part of this review, there is a questionnaire. It's very simple, easy questions. The first question is, what is your current KD ratio? So this player's specific KD ratio is a 0 0.95 and he has been playing Call of Duty for one week. So this person is actually fairly new. Uh, but, you know, a 0.95 is actually not that bad. That means that he's getting kills about 50% of the time. And his reason for submission is that he personally thinks he's great, but he dies for stupid reasons. And you know what? It's always great to have confidence. You know, you have to have confidence when you play this game. You can't always be scared, man. You always got to go out there with a lot of vigor and confidence. He says he dies for stupid reasons. So let's go ahead and watch this gameplay and see exactly what we can dissect from this video to help him improve. All right, so here he is. He's coming out the gate. He picked up a kill right there. It's always really nice to spawn into a game and pick up a kill. The enemy team is calling in some cluster strikes right now. I would assume. Okay, right off the bat, what I can really offer in this situation is notice how he just kind of rushed it. He bum rushed it. He didn't really take his time to assess the situation first before he moved forward. He was playing rather aggressive. As you can see, as he comes up over this wall, he was already picked off. And, you know, I'm sorry for the quality, it's just YouTube, but according to that kill cam, it does confirm the fact that somebody was already there. So had he taken his time, he probably would have been able to scope that enemy out first, and then decided it's not safe to go there. So now he's pre-aiming, and he knows for a fact that there's somebody up here, and if somebody aimed in at him, I would not engage in this gunfight at all, because you are at a severe disadvantage. That restaurant area with the three floors on top, when somebody's up top on there, you do not want to be doing this at all. I would literally just go the opposite way right here. Check out the minimap. I would definitely just get out of there. Just ignore that situation. Just because somebody is engaging at you does not always mean that you need to engage with them. You always have to think, okay, is this a smart decision for me? Do I have a high percentage chance of winning this gunfight? Always think about those things before you engage and also think about your positioning. Am I in a good position right now? All right, so let's play it out. Let's see how it uh, turns out. And he actually got the kill. So uh, yeah, he did get the kill. So he's pretty confident. That's good. You know, he did mention that he thinks he's a good player. Uh, but in that situation, I really wouldn't risk it. So here he is. I like the fact that he's staying by himself. He, it looks like he's trying to flank a lot more. And that's why he's positioning himself on this side of the map versus his teammates, which are actually stuck in the spawn. So that's pretty smart. So right now, the enemy team does have a couple kill streaks out there. They've got this tank coming in through. So yes it's a good idea to hide hopefully the tank oh the tank spotted him get out of there he's trying to get out of there in this situation you just gotta haul it man get out of there as fast as you possibly can yo he almost got away props to him for that man this guy is actually not bad for having one week of experience so i'm actually pretty impressed like his movement seems really well as as well i'm sorry for the bad english right there whoa okay so he tossed that C4. I think he was trying to get rid of the, the tank or whatever, but unfortunately it landed on the truck. Now in this situation, I know he did see some red dots, but according to the minimap, there wasn't anyone up there. So it was kind of a waste of a C4, but you know, you got to give the kid credit uh, for, you know, trying his best at the situation. So the, he picks up a nice kill there in front of this guy. All right, he's pre-aiming down every line of sight, which is good. No, do not run down the middle. Yeah, that will definitely get you killed. So if you want to make your way towards one part of the map to another, you have a couple choices here. You can either go around this way, which is the safer way, 
but it's, there's a possibility that there could be people in the restaurant, of course. Now, the second option would be to make it through here underneath the pillars and just slide as fast as you can and stay close to the walls. That's my best advice if you're trying to traverse around the map. Think about having as much cover as possible when you're moving around the map. And this is as a result of that as well. So he got to the pillars. He did, yes, but he could have gotten there sooner. And that's why this person spotted him. He was already aimed in at the shop, and that's why he was picked off. So I do like the fact that he actually does pull out the pistol because pulling out the pistol coming out of your spawn does help you run a lot faster. There are a couple enemies here. Now, okay, I'm seeing another pattern here is he's rushing it way too hard. Try to slow your gameplay down and that's what happens. You know, you get too excited and you miss the bigger picture. Now, this is what I mean. He's going after this guy right here, clearly. And he wants to bum rush this guy right away. As you can see, he moved up and another enemy came in. What you should do is just pre-aim from where you're at. You don't need to chase the enemy down. Just pre-aim from where you're at. So that way, if the enemy does pop up next time, you're able to catch that second kill by surprise. It's a nice little bonus. So one thing I do have to say about the spawns in Crash is that it's absolutely terrible. You'll just get spawn killed. So right there, there's no real advice I could offer. Now, I see that he decides to go back for the guy. You know, he wants to get a revenge kill. That's pretty natural. You know, a lot of us want to do go ahead and do that. My next advice would just to be not go for that at all. It looks like he's going to go for it. And he does get an assist. So let's see where he goes next. He does have a munitions box. I would definitely pop that so you have more ammo moving forward. So before you enter this area, this is a small little thing here is you always want to make sure you're pre-aiming at least in these areas right here because this is where enemies are most likely going to be so you want to approach the situation cautiously first assess it and see if it's safe to move forward so here he is he's just like kind of just rushing it again and there could be people on top you always want to clear out the area make sure your back is safe and yeah, it looks like he's got the basic fundamentals down as far as pre-aiming down lines of sight but of course there is room for improvement He's now in the enemy spawn according to where his teammates are in the minimap, so he's here all alone. I would definitely pre-aim the spawn area, which would be in this area right here. So there's a bunch of enemies going after him. He comes down because he hears this guy's footsteps, and unfortunately he gets taken out. Yeah, I could just see the way that you can improve is just by being as patient as possible. He seems like he has a lot of upside to his game. Like, I could definitely see him improving a lot. <clears throat> so here he is again. I'm sorry for if I'm clearing my throat. I'm not sick. I promise So that is another example of how he could have just been a little bit more patient So as soon as he runs into here Just pre-aim first because you're here all alone on the map Like I said, there could be enemies in the restaurant on the top floor or coming in from their spawn So just pre-aim when you're going into rooms always assume there's gonna be an enemy there and as you can see Somebody just popped up out of the blue and that's just how Call of Duty is. It's a fast-paced game, and sometimes enemies catch you by surprise. All right, so here he comes again, coming out of the spawn. He's looking to get a revenge kill. Revenge kill. I don't know why I pronounce things all weird sometimes. So he's coming up here for a good vantage point. So if you're... Oh, I want to see how this plays out. So he's going to throw that C4. I would have saved the C4 until you get a clear view of the enemy first. Don't just throw it out. Uh, just to throw it out, you know, always have a reason for throwing your C4. And uh, he definitely didn't need to stim shot there either because he wasn't that hurt and nobody was chasing after him. So I'm not exactly sure what happened there. I think that the teammate did take out those enemies. I know I can't really tell the, the kill feed is really blurry right now. So he's pre-aiming over here. There is an enemy support UAV over there. So this tells me personally that there is somebody around here so he has to investigate this of course or he could just let the enemy make the first move either or so he's looking for this guy and he does get the kill all right let's see what he does next he could stim shot in this situation just to be able to uh, keep pushing forward so it's a little too late now so okay I, I do like the fact that he's taking the safer route he's going upstairs he's gonna pre-aim down into their spawn it seems that maybe his sensitivity might be a little too high as well. Because I noticed that his cursor moves around all over the place when he's looking around the map. So yeah, if you know there's an enemy in, a, in an area, don't rush into it. Because here's the thing. If you rush into those situations, the person who is expecting you to come is already ready and positioned. You don't know where they're at. 
So that's why you have to approach the situation slowly. So as you can see, the guy was already situated. He was already waiting for you. So I'm pretty sure he's going to be looking for this guy. So there you go. That's what I'm talking about right there. Throw a C4. All right. He's hurt. He's hurt. He's clearly hurt. He's still here. There he is. That was a good attempt. That was a good attempt. But I think you have to also get better at, you know, tossing your C4s. You could actually detonate it while you're in midair or while the C4 is in midair. So that was a good little slide through the corner. Pre-aiming down over there. But your teammates already killed him. So there goes one guy right there. I would definitely squat instead of just standing up straight in this head glitch right here. Squat over here to protect yourself a little bit more. So somebody's in the helicopter. He's definitely focused on taking that guy out. There is an enemy helicopter outside. I forgot the name of the kill streak for some reason. Uh, Hilo, Hilo. So find some cover. Try to survive a little bit longer. The enemy team's about to win. Your teammate just died. So, yeah, they've got a really clear view of the your spawn right now. So, that's the end of the match. Let's see what he ended up with. So, he finished off the game with 4 kills and 13 deaths. Now, I'm just going to be honest with you, man. I liked what I've seen. For someone who's only been playing for one week and with your KD, like, this gameplay, you had a lot of potential to flip that around and make it 13 kills and 4 deaths. Because like I said, just work on your pacing. You don't always have to rush everything. Don't get too excited. Try to be a little bit more passive aggressive and just think about every situation before you get into it. You know, think about it strategically. Think about your positioning. Think about where you are on the minimap and how you can move from one location to another safely without sacrificing your body to being shot. And his movement seems really good for a beginner. Like that's pretty amazing, you know, better than a lot of people that I've seen that just picked up a controller for the first time. So yeah, guys, make sure to leave your comments down below on what else he can improve on. Those were just things that stood out to me in this video. So yeah, guys, don't forget to leave a like on this video if you would like to see me break down more subscriber gameplays and subscribe if you are new around here. I'd really appreciate it if you would join Turbo Nation today. We are on our way to 95,000 subscribers. I seriously appreciate all the support you guys have been showing on the videos lately. It really means a lot to me, man. I've been grinding YouTube for so long and it means a lot to me. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys have a good day and I will see you guys in the next next video. Peace.